You know, it seems like we were just down in Columbus. Uh, but it's, it's uh, we're ready to go. The guys have worked incredibly hard in the off season. I, I'm extremely proud of them. They Their goal is back to back or bust. So the bar set pretty high for them. You know, I think anything less than that for them would be a disappointment. So I think it raises the bar for the program uh, to, to get back to states and, and win it again. And uh, from a talent standpoint, there's no reason why we don't have the talent to do it. But a lot of things have to take place. There's a lot of little things that have to take place in order to, to repeat. There's really nothing different. Just picking up where we left off, trying to get better, trying to um, just uh, play tougher against the bigger schools this year and he's amped up the schedule a little bit tougher this year just we got to be ready to play in the regular season and not even worrying about the playoffs yet. <laughs> My boy Mike, even on that verdict max, he got his balance right so he's becoming a complete player. He's going to definitely be a high major division one player and probably the best player to ever come to Cornerstone. Uh, he, he's the reason why a lot of guys have energy. I mean a lot of guys that could be jealous and stuff like that of his, uh, his accomplishments but you know you talk to guys we're always building Mike up. We call him Mr. 41 you know stuff like that so I mean, Mike's a good guy. He's going to be a very good player, probably the best ever player here. Quite candidly, the, um, the program was rather horrible uh, in year one, along with the coaching, okay? Uh, you know, we need people like Anthony, I introduce you to, Jason G. You need people in your life to help you get better. Life's about learning and um, understanding the game and understanding how to relate to today's players. A case in point, rolling the shorts, okay, or having the headphones in before the game. I don't understand it, okay, but you have to start to understand today's millennials, and that's part of coaching, and, and the program has to grow with, with the talent of the players, so I think that it's been a step-by-step -step process.